the shoes in the bag. You can wear whatever you want as long as the shoes and the bag are perfection. Today I have 11 essential, elegant, chic, timeless, European style accessories. Hello, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love so you look beautiful and you feel confident every single day. So I've been talking about European style the last couple of weeks. I'm going to continue that, that theme in today's video and we're going to be talking about 11 essential accessories that I saw in Europe. I'm going to focus on shoes and bags for this video because I think they're the accessories that have the most impact. Obviously jewelry is important, scarves are important, hats are important and you're gonna find examples of all of those items in the catalog that's linked below this video. It has a couple hundred items in it. I'm not going to mention all couple hundred items, although it wouldn't surprise you guys probably if I did because I think I'm becoming known as the person with the longest <laughs> fashion videos on YouTube. There's just so much to cover and I wanna pack it all in. So today I'm, I'm gonna cut the chit chat and I'm gonna get started and I'm going to show you some iconic French accessories and European accessories that I saw when I was um, on my recent European trip. Now, first I want to mention a couple of brands. These are primarily French brands. I know there are German brands. I know there are Swiss brands as well. Um, like I know Bally is an old Swiss brand. Um, but I'm, I'm going to, and Birkenstock is a, I believe it's a German brand and I saw those everywhere. But I'm focused on a couple of Swiss, uh, French brands because, you know, France and fashion, they just go hand in hand. And these are brands that I was personally familiar with. And then in my research, I discovered a couple of new ones that are trending, that are cool. Of course, we all know Chanel and Saint Laurent. Those are two big, high-end designer French brands, and there are many, many more. But there are also a lot of niche brands, cooler brands, contemporary brands, as well as even some fast fashion French brands that I want to, wanted to put on your radar. So there's K Jacques. K Jacques has been around about 100 years. It's a, a French sandal brand. It's very like Saint Tropez, and I mean, very, very south of France, very vacation vibey. Um, Jo I, I could be pronouncing this wrong. I probably am. Jonak or is it Jonah K? I'm not sure, but this is a, a contemporary, very cool, very um, modern French footwear brand. Um, we all know Cezanne. They do amazing shoes. Um, Michel, Michel Vivienne. It's a higher end uh, French shoe brand. Um, Bobby's is another popular brand. Uh, Mista, Corel. And then at the lower end, you know, a little bit more affordable, La Redoute is sort of like, I don't know, maybe a French express. Um, Kukai, Kukai, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, and then Monoprix, which is sort of like their target. So I have examples from many of these stores, especially the ones that are available internationally. I have examples of those in this catalog. But now let's launch into the, the different types of accessories I saw. And in each of these categories, I'm going to try to show you kind of the iconic, the gold standard one, the one that, you know, it inspired it all. And then I'm going to show you uh, different price points and different versions of it. So hopefully there's going to be something here for everybody. Okay, so the first category I want to talk about is the heeled sandal. Heeled sandals. So we're talking about low block heeled sandals. Definitely nothing more than three inches, but usually one to two inch low heeled block sandals. I think a metallic is the way to go in this category, but um, I, I saw metallics. I saw brown. I saw um, black. Um, I saw beige and nude. Um, but I want to show you, I'm going to start with this Jonah, Jonak sandal. Um, this is 138. It's just a, a very simple strappy metallic sandal. Um, another French brand, Couple. This is a um, very affordable one. Actually, it's on sale. It was one, 180, so more middle of the road price. And now I think it's $68, but this really pretty, um, again, low heeled block sandal. Cezanne. This is one of my favorite styles from Cezanne. This is their Gloria sandal um, at 215. Very, very French to me. That's to me that whole there's there's a little bit of a vintage feeling to a lot of these shoes. You're gonna, I think, pick up on that. And then another fancy brand, the Michel Vivienne and Trecio sandals. These are not gold, but I have to show these because they are amazing. So a lot of texture, a lot of detail, a lot of interest in these sandals. They are either very sleek and minimalist or they're just um, they've got a little bit of a vintage vibe and Cezanne does that very well. These Michelle Vivienne sandals do that very, very well. 
Now I'm going to show you some, you know, high-low versions. Actually, these are all pretty reasonable. Um, oh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to start with the Bobby's um, Salma Heeled Sandal. Love this one as, as a metallic sandal with some texture to it um, at $147. It's not super pricey, but very, very cool. This is a very French-looking sandal, similar to the Cezanne sandal. Um, okay, and then these are three kind of dupes of each other. I'm going to start with the French Lower End La Redoute sandal. Um, this is just it looks vintage it looks like a 1940s movie star would have worn this um and it's you know fairly reasonable um then two from american designers that are kind of inspired by this one this is the um jewel badgley mishka Chris, Kristen black heeled sandal love this love the the braided you know the kind of the, the gathered detail at the time i don't know what, what what to call that but you know what i'm talking about the little the little strips um really really pretty that's 109 same price is this melange black heeled sandal from jeffrey campbell i might be pronouncing that with a french accent because i'm in a french mood who knows but um I, that's also uh 110 dollars but this one does not have a strap around the ankle so keep that in mind so a lot of straps around the ankle because you're doing a lot of walking in Europe. You need a low heeled block sandal with an ankle strap and some cool, interesting detail that re reflects your personal style. So that, that personal style is minimal, whether it's vintage, whether it's romantic, whether you like a little bit of a boho, there's there's a, a sandal for everybody. And I feel like this, this block heeled sandal is something that we can all wear and all use in our wardrobes, especially in warm weather. But this is also a great evening choice. So uh, if you get it in a metallic, especially, it's going to be something you can wear to dressy events anytime, anytime that shows up on your calendar. Okay, now we're going to talk about clogs. I, I, I did see quite a few clogs. I would probably, and I have no problem with heels, but I do have a problem sometimes with wedges or platforms because they're not bendable. And I would probably break my neck if I wore clogs on cobblestones, but I saw that everywhere. Um, this is not a French brand, but I feel like the Veronica Beard um, Hendrix clog is the iconic fashion clog right now. This is an expensive one at almost $400, but it is such a cool, cool clog. Um, I feel like you need to go with brown or like uh, you, could go, you could do black, you could do a light neutral, but you, I feel like this, this really needs to be a neutral. I really like, if you're going to get a second pair of clogs, I really like Charlotte Stone shoes and of course Swedish has-beens for colorful clogs, but I'm going with more neutral fashion-y clogs here. Um, Andrea Sue, I believe Andrea Sue is a French brand. It's been around a really long time. I generally associate them with espadrilles, but they have this um, Soraya water resistant clog that I think is really cool. I like the stud detail on the Veronica beard. There's just a little bit of stud detail on this one, but it was um, it's $239. Um, Madewell middle of the road version has the Cecily clog. No stud detail on this, but this is a cool and, and more, I mean, I think a comfortable clog at $168. Um, and then there are a couple that are less expensive and have some of that stud detail going on. This is from Lisa Vicky. This is the Vim platform clog. Um, it's a little bit lower. It's a little, probably a little bit more walkable. That's $70. And then from Zodiac, the Chessa slingback clog. That's $79. So you want that neutral clog. This is going to be a great transitional piece to wear. You can wear it now. You can wear it into fall um, and even winter, depending on your climate. Um, it's just a great year-round neutral shoe. And it's definitely trending right now, but it never truly goes out of style. Okay, the next shoe trend I want to talk about is the espadrille. I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm um, looking at my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. The espadrille. Espadrilles are so European. They're so French. They're so iconic. They're so beautiful. I just love them. You know how I feel about espadrilles. You know, I've worked with Viscata in the past, um, but the gold standard for espadrilles in, in France or the iconic French espadrille is the Castanier espadrille. Um, these are 142. They're not super, super pricey, but this is just the French espadrille brand, in my opinion. I just love them. Um, these are a neutral pair. They go with everything. They're a little bit higher, but they come in all different heights but Castanier espadrilles if you want that real French vibe that's the way to go um if you want something a, low, a little bit lower priced the, these Tom's Marisol espadrilles are $75 I think that's a great 
price for a neutral espadrille like this, and I think they are super, super chic. Now, if you don't want to go with an espadrille wedge, you can go with a flat espadrille, and I saw those everywhere. I saw Chanel ones. I saw, I, I just saw every every possible iteration of that. Um, Saint Laurent has become known for their flat espadrilles, and these um, logo espadrilles is a very subtle logo. We didn't see a lot of obvious logos in Europe, but this is a very subtle logo. These logo espadrilles from Saint Laurent, I think, are a, a fabulous option if you want to go a little bit higher end. They are going to be a shoe that you're going to have in your wardrobe for the rest of your life. I mean, they might be having a moment now, but espadrilles like clogs are never going to go out of style. So these are um, $7.45. If you want a less expensive version of this, these Calvin Klein Pedone Espadrilles are $30 on sale right now. That's a, a super, super fabulous price. And then if you want something with a little bit more pop to it, these from Zara, the embellished Espadrilles for $49.90 um, are a great choice. You cannot go wrong with an Espadrille. I think they are just the fabulous, fabulous, um, timeless, classic European shoe style. Okay. Now let's talk about woven sandals. I'm putting all of these together because um, they're braided, there are straps that are woven, there are caged sandals, there are fisherman sandals. These are all terms to search for if you're looking for more options, although I'm telling you I have a million in this catalog. Caged, fisherman, woven, braided, um, that type of style sandal, I I just I just love these. Um, this is K Jacques, again, that iconic French brand I was telling you about, French sandal brand. This is their Adrienne Cage sandals. These are 325. These are so, so, it was so French to me. I saw so many people wearing this style of sandal in Europe. Um, and I think these are super, super cool. Um, now there's a, an Amazon dupe of these. These are the Max Muxen women's closed toe flat sandals. These are $32.99. So if you're like, I really like those K-Jacques sandals. I don't know how much I'm going to wear them. I don't want to spend $325 on them. These are 10%, <laughs> $32.99 um, of the price. So that's a great option. Um, even a higher price than the K-Jacques, but I have to mention them because I think they are so stunning. These Cabr Cabursa padded fisherman sandals. They're $505, but um, from Heru, H-E-R-E-U. These are available at Nordstrom. These are, oh, I think these are so chic. These are so chic. So like a, a French woman would probably buy uh, one pair like this, and depending on her budget, one pair like this, you know, a year or a, a definitely a season and wear them to death. And I think that that's just something that we can all kind of emulate um, buying less and buying better and I love those that said these may not be around forever so you may not want to spend $500 on something you can't wear forever but um, fish fisherman sandals are definitely having a moment right now um, Zara has an inexpensive version um, that's $90 lace lace up tied flat leather sandals but these woven sandals like that were just everywhere and I think they are so so chic and cool and different and add a different element to your outfits Okay, um, now we're going to talk about flat sandals. I saw lots of flat strappy sandals. I saw flat chunky sandals. I saw flat platform sandals. I saw Birkenstocks. I saw every iteration and version of flat sandals. Here I'm going to focus on a couple of um, strappy sandal styles for you. Of course, I have one from K Jacques. This is their Ombeline Toe Ring Sandal 330. Very simple, very sleek, very chic. This would be a great you know, sandal to wear poolside. It, it, it's a great sandal to wear all summer long. It's just very, very iconic and very elegant, and it's not a style that's gonna date very quickly. Um, there's a brand called Meguiar Shoes that was re recently put on my um, radar. It's a Canadian brand. Their shoes are handmade, I believe, in Brazil, but the brand is based in Canada, and they have some Canadian shops. So if you're a Canadian shopper and you're always struggling to find some of my recommendations, um, these are beautiful, the Londrina Silver uh, Sandals. These have, like, little floral detail on them. They're very, very pretty. They have a lot of funky shoes at Meguiar, but these are a little bit more classic. Um, then... Zara has a really cool version. These are their tied, strappy, flat sandals. Um, they're $49.90, just a simple, strappy, black, or uh, metallic sandal. I have um, um, a brown version of these from Dolce Vita that I got last summer that was around $30, $40 that I love. Shoots, an American brand, um, has these um, flat, strappy sandals called, um, I don't know what they're called, 
but they're shoot sandals. They're about $123. So um, lots of options here at every price point, but you're looking for a sleek, scrappy um, sandal in a neutral or a metallic. Um, I also saw, and I was like, those remind me of the Dr. Scholl sandals back in the day. Some of them look like they had a, the same footbed as a Birkenstock. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna share a bunch of different examples of these as much as I can find them. I actually kind of had a hard time finding these here in the US, but um, I did find a couple of Dr. Scholl's versions. And when I was uh, like, I don't know, 10 or 12, I felt like all the big, cool teenage girls wore Dr. Scholl's, totally dating myself. This was like 1980 when I was 10 years old. Um, I felt like all the cool girls wore Dr. Scholl's sandals. Um, and they're back. So these are, this is on the Free People site, the Dr. Scholl's original clog, um, $120 in red. I saw, I, I shared a couple in my outfits videos where I, you know, did the street style, showed a couple of this st slide style sandal and a pop of color. I thought that was really cool. And then a Zara, so apparently this is a trend, I'm not maybe not a widespread one, but Zara has a version of it because, you know, Zara is going to pick up on all the trends and there's only $40. So there's a Dr. Scholl's original and then there's the Zara version of this slide sandal. Okay, you can't talk about European shoes and especially not French shoes without talking about ballet flats. Ballet flats are, you know, just the iconic French shoe and worn in a modern way within modern outfits. It's just always going to be in style. Um, this Cendrillon flat from Repetto. Repetto is the iconic French ballet brand ballerina brand it's it's repetto is the brand that started it all they originally made shoes for ballerinas and then they started making them for for streetwear for fashion um but repetto sundrion flats are 370 um i love i love the repetto flats but pretty ballerinas makes really nice ones french soul make really makes really nice ones and you know you can get ballerina flats everywhere but i have one pair of repettos and i love them they're actually they've seen better days i, I probably am gonna have to in invest in a new pair but i just love them um speaking of high-end ballet flats we all know the chanel cap toe ballet flat is a look i did see that everywhere there is a version of that for every budget. Um, these are This is the current Chanel version that I saw on their site. It's the patent calfskin white and black um, cap toe flat. This has a little bit of a more elongated toe, um, but if you're gonna invest in a Chanel flat, and especially if it's your first one, you're one you wanna go with an iconic, kind of slightly rounder toe with the cap toe style. Um, this is the, um, I think this is Zara's version of it. Um, I'll have the details below, but this is, a $77 version of it, you can't beat that. No, actually this is from La Redoute, another French brand. Two-tone ballet flats, $77, you cannot beat that. They do ship to the US, all of these brands ship to the US and, and other places. So there's the Chanel, you know, and, and then the Chanel dupes and there are a ton of them. Van Ellie's Chanel dupe is very, very popular. Everybody has a dupe of that cap-toe ballet flat. But okay, let's go back to the Repetto. We talked about the Repetto Cendrillon. Um, the other iconic French ballet flat, I think is Ro Roger Vivier. Um, this is their Gomatine ball ballet they've got that square buckle in the front that's their their trademark that's their thing um that detail that i think is very iconic um of course you can find a ballet flat for every price point i'm going to show you these they're not the same style but these from zara i just think are ridiculously pretty and i would i would be not i would be doing you a disservice if i did not show these ballet flats these are the lace up ballet flats with bow um 49.90 from zara oh i think those are so so beautiful um okay i have this is this is the um sam edelman felicia flat this is sort of a dupe on the Repetto Cendrillon flat. It's the closest I can find. This is a perennial shoe from um, Sam Edelman. They have it year after year. It's a fabulous ballet flat. It's um, very elegant. It's very comfortable. It's very timeless. So if you're looking for that Repetto style without the Repetto price, I would definitely recommend the Sam Edelman Felicia's. And I know that there are many, many others. Um, Okay, I also saw some mesh slingback. So here we have a version from Zara. I know this might not be mesh slingback ballerinas, might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I wanna show them to you because they are really, really cool. So if you're like, oh, a ballet flat is a little too classic for me, maybe the mesh version is for you. This one from Zara is um, about $50. Um, you can see it's kind of a wider mesh. The style, I saw a lot of like nude and black 
really almost like fishing net material, mesh um, flats when I was there. Did not capture a picture of those, but I did see several of those. Now, Roger Vivier, of course, has a fancy version of it. Um, this is the Gomatin Net Slingback 850. Beautiful, iconic. This is a trend. Keep that in mind. But that's a very, very cool shoe. If you're looking for something a little edgy, a little different, a little bit less classic. Now, um, I also really like, there are some really modern, sleek ballet flats. If you're looking for something all, it, that's that's more of a minimal style. Um, this Prado Bubblegum Ballerina Ballet Flat from... Meguiar shoes. That's the Canadian brand I was telling you about. That's really really cool. It's got like a little little circle opening where it ties sort of near the toe. I think that's just fabulous. It's a really really cool ballet flat. Um, and then this one from a French brand called Alem. This is the Shoe Shoe Ballerina. This is on sale right now for two ninety. It was four hundred dollars. Another cool modern ballet flat. And then this is a high end version from Jean. Jean Vito Rossi. This is the Ascent Court Shoes. Um, there's a site called 24S, 24, uh, I think, Rue de Sev, um, in France that um, definitely correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm, I'm doing that from memory. I don't remember what, I don't remember the exact name of the store, but 24S.com. It's a, it's a site that sells a lot of French brands. Um, and Jean, Jean Vito Rossi is obviously Italian, but this is their Ascent Court Shoes. Those are cool kind of scrappy sling back ballet flats. So again, looking for something a little different, there is something here for everybody. Okay, um, now let's get into, I think I covered all, oh no, I did not cover all the shoes. We're going to get into sneakers because sneakers were such a thing. Sneakers were such a thing in Europe. And I, I talked about that over and over again. And I saw white sneakers everywhere, but I also saw beige sneakers. And I kind of thought I'd put beige sneakers on your radar if A, you're not a fan of white sneakers, or B, you just want something different to mix it up a little. Because I thought they were such a cool option and they're definitely as neutral. I like the white sneaker look because I like that starkness. I like that freshness. But, you know, like I said, there's something for everybody. So so um, the Veja, thank you, Kat, for correcting my pron pronunciation. It's Veja, not Veja, which always felt awkward to say. Anyway, the Veja sneakers were the iconic sneaker. I saw them everywhere. I saw a lot of little pops of color in the V. I saw neutral versions. I saw, and they are so comfortable. If you don't have a pair of Veja sneakers yet, I definitely recommend them. Very, very comfortable. These are the, it's the Esplar style. That's the, the style to go for. Um, Marion, Marion Cotillard has them. Um, Kate Winslet has the, like every Kate Winslet did I say that um uh Princess Kate has them um like they're just everyone is wearing them and I saw them all over Europe so those are definitely a go-to when it comes to sneakers um they do not have a beige version they just have a white version but I had to mention them because that was the sneaker that I saw the most okay I'm back took my daughter to the dentist fixed my lipstick I didn't like the lip stain thing I had going on there but we're going to continue our talk about sneakers so I talked about the Vejas being the sneaker in Europe right now and I think in the U.S. too they are so comfortable um just so comfortable so if you haven't tried those I highly recommend them um, so there are two types of sneakers that I saw. So I saw a more athletic, still cool looking, but more athletic style sneaker. And I saw more of a fashion style sneaker. And like I said, I saw a lot of beige as well as white. So for those of you, you know, you've seen my white options. I, I wore, personally wore my Allbirds when I was in Europe. And um, somebody asked, how did you feel like your wardrobe worked and fit in in Europe? I felt like a European. I felt like I totally fit in. People even asked me questions in French. They asked me for directions so I felt like my wardrobe totally worked so for those of you who are maybe looking at my European travel wardrobe video that I did for, as inspiration for your own travel wardrobes I would definitely recommend checking um, checking that out and maybe creating a version using clothes from your own closet because it, it like I said it totally worked okay so let's get into the beige sneakers I'm going to start with a couple of more athletic style beige sneakers I think rag and bone does a really good job with these these are 245 and they're just that you know beige neutral color that goes with everything and just a very cool kind of retro style sneaker um tori birch also has this is their hink sneaker these are 238 these are a very cool beige kind of retro style sneaker that's kind of what's happening in sneakers right now of course um a lot of people like the new balance sneakers um but these are my my picks for kind of a, a higher end retro style sneaker now this um one from yossi samra this is the page sneaker um these are 
like half off at for fifty dollars right now i think it's a really really good price um so if you're looking for a less expensive kind of athletic style retro style base sneaker i love those now for um you know i i wore my all birds i wore the the pipers um but these are the tree runners this is the the beige version that they have that's of an athletic sneaker so this is um the the all birds version it's 105 dollars if you're looking for a more fashion style sneaker i like this one from naturalizer this is their morrison sneaker 2.0 um these are a great naturalizer as you know is a comfort brand and these are a great kind of simple sneaker that will work with a lot of different outfits um naturalizer has a couple um birkenstock has this bend sneaker um that i think is a is a cool option at 140 dollars. and then kizik has these prog sneakers so i i have other options for all of these um more and less expensive versions for all of these in the catalog again that's linked in the description box okay now let's move on to straw bags straw bags are another huge category in french they're paniers they are like um uh, just an iconic french bag so we saw the totes and then we saw straw crossbodies and straw handbags and straw clutches and straw little top handle bags so i'm going to show you both now the iconic the the gold standard of straw bag right now the real fashion straw bag is the loewe um basket bag um it is just beautiful it's very chic it's got the brown leather trim it's very instantly recognizable and definitely um a, a piece that you you will buy and have your wardrobe for the rest of your life it's $650 that's the low web a version now if you don't want to spend $650 on a basket bag I totally get you I'm gonna show you a couple of versions actually I'll show you a higher priced one and then I'll show you a couple of lower priced ones this one from Alaya I love this is the Le Panier Raffia basket tote with the leather straps on it in black it's very very cool it's a very chic bag a little bit edgy it's $1,300 um, there is one from Erez, the Escapade straw bag. I think this is so pretty with the bow and the black straps on it. That's $4.85. Really expensive. I know that's, those are super expensive. And then there are, you know, uh, department store brands and your favorite brands like, you know, Loft or J. Crew or whatever all do their own versions of a straw tote. This one is from Walmart. It is $30, the Straw Women's uh, Summer Beach Tote like $30 for a straw bag, especially if you don't think it's going to become a go-to for you and something you're gonna use all the time, then definitely go for a less expensive version. And I feel like straw is straw, obviously better woven straw is better woven straw, but I don't think you need to spend a ton of money on a straw bag unless that label or that style is really speaks to you. Now there are um, other straw handbags, of course. I love this one from Chloe. This is their uh, Woody Basket basket bucket bag um super super cute and super iconic and kind of a retro style i love that it is expensive of course it's chloe it's 690 claire v i think she's a french designer but i think she's now based in the u.s um she has this chain pot de meal bag for tucker neck it's exclusively for tucker neck it's 215 so it's a less expensive version it's still expensive but it's a less expensive version of the chloe bag now if you're looking for just a, a, a classic uh, straw handbag i've got two different options for you this first one the straw flap bag from and other stories it's only 69 dollars, so that's a pretty reasonable straw bag again you're going to find these everywhere from i mean target has versions to um neiman Marcus you're going to find these everywhere I, my straw bag is actually a vintage one with big light handles which i love um, but again this one is from uh, and other stories it's 69 dollars if you want to go a little bit higher end this tory birch kira rough raffia crochet convertible shoulder bag is 5.98 so um there's a there's a straw bag out there for everybody i feel like it is the quintessential summer bag and i absolutely I absolutely love straw bags. I love them. I love them. I love them. I know, again, it's one of those things that's currently in the spotlight, but absolutely never out of style. Now, as far as handbags go, I saw a lot of neutral bags, both neutral crossbody bags, neutral crescent style, crescent shaped bags, I mean, just really you know, simple, very um, kind of minimal and not a lot of logo action going on. So just just, you know, a simple, simple bag. And I just think they they you know, they do that. 
they do that so well um, in Europe with these classic styles. So I'm gonna show you a couple that I really, really like. Okay, this first one is a brand called called Polen. It's a French brand. This is their Numero 10 um, number 10 bag. It's a crescent style leather um, shoulder bag for 460. Um, very, very elegant kind of, you know, it, it's still a designer bag, but it's not a $2,000 designer bag. So that's a really, really nice version. Aspinall of London also has this tan um, hobo crescent smooth tan bag at 620 i think that's a really great everybody is doing this crescent shape again you can find it anywhere you can find it at zara you can find it um i wanted to start with a french brand polen um, but you can find it at a, at, at a brand that suits your budget um all saints has one for 229 this is their half moon leather crossbody bag um great i saw a lot of leather bags worn on the front of the body and some even worn on the back but like worn like that crossbody style where it fits up against you almost like the Lululemon. I saw a lot of those sporty styles, but then I also saw um, some of these more classic styles of leather handbag. Now, if you're looking for just a, a, a leather, classic leather shoulder bag that's going to be an investment piece in your wardrobe, something that will never go out of style, um, I have two French versions for you here. One is the is from Moynat. It's the Mal bag, M-A-L-L-E. Um, this one's expensive. It's three four thousand dollars this is a very this is an investment bag i love the styling and the detail on this it's very minimal it's one of those bags and i that, that i think really personifies french style and that you have to you have to look at it and you're like oh i know that's a fancy bag but i don't know what it is like it's not it's not logoed it's not obvious it's not flashy it's just subtle kind of an old money french look um if you want that same type of look, but you want to spend less, Longchamp, classic French brand that also happens to be pretty affordable. It's sort of our version, I, I mean, I guess I would say their version of almost like Coach or Kate Spade in terms of price point. So this is their Le, Le Foulonne leather um, handbag, it's 330. So classic tan leather bag. This is actually available in Nordstrom. You are, it's never going to go out of style. You will be able to, if this is an investment bag for you at 330, you're going to have that bag for the rest of your life. Rest of your life. Um, very, very iconic handbag. Now, we talked about these natural crossbody bags. The very final category I have in today's video is a tote. Now, I saw totes in leather. I saw them in canvas. I saw them in straw, as you saw. And then I saw them in that uh, nylon material um, as well. So there's all different types of totes. Lots and lots of iconic totes. Slouchy totes, more structured totes. Um, and again, with this category, there are as many versions as there are women. And find a version that suits your style and suits your budget. But I wanted to show you some of the ones that really are kind of standout styles and, and say are very French to me. So the Saint Laurent Sac du Jour is the iconic high-end leather tote um, at $1,500. It's, you know, it's a very, very classic bag. It's been around forever. It's very stylish and um, very classic and, and definitely something that um, reads very, very French or very European. Um, I personally am obsessed with the Alaya, uh, you know, Azadine Alaya is a friend, you know, famous French designer, uh, Alaya, Alaya. Um, this is their Mina 32 uh, tote. It's kind of like pierced leather. It's so cool. It's such a cool bag, $26.90. So very expensive, $2,690, definitely a pricey tote. But the most iconic and the most, um, French, in my opinion, when I think of a French tote, I think of the Longchamp uh, Le Pliage tote. Um, this is $140 for the medium size. I think it's $150, $155 for the larger, and I think there's a smaller one as well. It's a nylon tote with leather trim. She even has a really big one that's more like a carry-on bag. This is a fabulous carry-on, a fabulous tote, a fabulous everyday like work and, and errands and shopper and that type of tote. Just love the Longchamp Le Pliage. I mean, it does come in different colors, but I'm showing it here in black and tan. Very classic, very timeless. Um, if you have a Longchamp tote in your, I, I, have, <laughs> I have a client who has like 12 of these, but if you have one in your life, you will have it for the rest of your life and you'll pass it along to your daughters because they don't change the style. It's just just a perennial favorite. And at $140, it's relatively uh, well-priced for something that you're gonna have 
for the rest of your life. So I hope that you enjoyed these 11, I think I counted right, 11 French accessories. Lots of shoes, couple of bags. These are things that I think, you know, if you're, if you're struggling to make your outfits interesting, to make them sing, to bring them to life, if you're struggling to um, bring your personal style into your everyday outfits, you know my outfit formula that I, that I showed in several videos, but definitely in the shortcuts of style video, which is start with basic and essential pieces, and you see that a lot in these um, outfit street style pictures that I've shared, and then add interesting, beautiful accessories that you spend a little bit more money on the accessories, you wear them for a really long time, and they feel like you. They feel like you're, they speak to your personal style. And then you have a signature style look that is unbeatable. Sta staple pieces in your wardrobe plus interesting accessories that speak to your personal style, that are iconic, that are cool, that are elegant, that is the, the, the quickest shortcut I can share with you for great everyday personal style. So I hope that you enjoy this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Which of these accessories was your favorite? Now, which did I just now put on your radar and add it to your shopping list? Have you heard any of these brands before? Do you have any to add? Always love hearing from you guys in the comments. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed so we can keep hanging out. And, you know, hit the share button underneath this video and share this video with a friend who maybe is struggling with accessories or or feels like, or maybe you just think she would enjoy hearing about European style accessories. Um, if you have someone in your life who enjoys this type of video, I would it would mean a lot to me if you would share it with them. Um, also, don't forget, I have another round of the bootcamp starting up. So go to netamanly.com slash bootcamp and join. It is the most inspired, creative, and fun closet edit process. Love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.